Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome to another edition of Model Railway News, for May in fact, and that means that I've been doing this now for five months, which is astonishing, I can't believe there's been five of these. Either way, I hope you're ready because there's some pretty cool developments that have happened over the past month and I'm sort of itching to share them with you. So let's get started straight away with a bit of an announcement from Backman, quite a big announcement actually. So if you remember, last year, 2018, was quite a sad year for British Thomas & Friends fans because Hornby very sadly decided to discontinue their range of Thomas & Friends toys, meaning that in the UK there were no 00 gauge Thomas & Friends toys available to buy. Now, it looks as though this year, or perhaps not quite this year, but in the near future, it looks as though that is about to change because Backman have announced that they've managed to negotiate a change to their licensing agreement with Mattel, which will allow them to sell their range of Thomas & Friends models over here in the UK, and here are some of them here. Obviously, it's no replacement for the Hornby range. That will always be sorely missed, but at least this might mean that we will at last be able to buy brand new Thomas & Friends models over here in the UK again. Now, it's looking as though they're not coming right now. It, Backman apparently is saying that 2020 is about the expected time for the range to arrive here in the UK. However, don't forget who we're talking about here. This is Backman, and uh, they very rarely deliver on time. I could be wrong in this instance, but they rarely do. So let's say 2021 at the very earliest. That's going to be my guess. Apparently, we're waiting for them to be worked on so that they conform to UK toy safety standards. And I don't really know what that means. Maybe it won't involve any changes to the models themselves. Maybe it will. Maybe it will just be a change to the packaging, something more subtle like that. However, something quite interesting that I did find when I was looking on the Backman website is that uh, there's these little warnings under certain products, or under quite a few products actually, and when you click onto that, it actually says, this product can expose you to chemicals including lead. Now, I thought it was the Victorians, right, that put lead in toys, and then when the children, well, died, uh, it was decided that that wasn't a good idea and lead was no longer used. But uh, here we are in 2019, and Backman are still putting lead in children's toys, if that warning is anything to go by. Now, I'm sure it's nothing to do with the paint. I'm sure they're not going to be using Using lead paint in their Thomas models. I think it's probably more a case of the weights maybe inside the models which uh, are sort of hidden away inside but even so you have to expect that uh, as toys these models are definitely going to get thrown around and cracked and broken and things that are hidden on the inside such as lead weights are soon going to be coming out onto the outside so really surprised at that actually so maybe that is going to be one of the changes that's taking place maybe they'll be removing the lead from their products and as I say it's quite a few of the different toys Thomas was one of them for for example, uh, Bill, Ben, Emily, Toad, there's quite a few of them. So yes, it will be interesting to see whether there are any changes to that. So that's a little bit about Backman. Let's move now on to Hornby, who have, once again, I've been saying this basically every month, but they have got another delivery of Terriers in stock. It's this time, it's probably my favourite version. In fact, it's the SECR Green, which is absolutely gorgeous. For me, I think it's a toss-up between that one and Stepney in the improved engine green. I think those two liveries are just amazing. But if you're interested in those, the SECR version of the Terrier is available to order now which is absolutely fantastic. Also Hornby's recent engine shed post showed the decoration samples for the upcoming Great Western version of the Large Prairie. At the moment it is only the Great Western version although they do say that the BR samples will be on the way pretty soon and it is looking absolutely fantastic isn't it and according to the website these are due in August so it really won't be all that long until we're seeing those in the shops and things so quite exciting to see the developments on the Large Prairies there. Also, they're showing some more painted samples of the uh, Mark II coaches, I think it is, the new decoration samples. Now, these are not exactly my area of expertise, if in fact I've got an area of expertise, probably not. Uh, but to my untrained eye, they do look absolutely great. So that's going to be really, really interesting to see how those turn out. And then finally, by Hornby, or rather Riverossi, who are owned by Hornby, they have announced that the Big Boy will be re-released this year in order to coincide with the restoration of the real thing. It isn't a cheap thing. There we go. <laughs> There's the price but obviously it is a colossal thing a very very impressive model so those who have been asking me to get a big boy might get their wish if I decide to buy one but either way I thought that was quite interesting the River Rossi big boy is coming back and finally from Hornby something a little bit interesting actually because they've got a brand new range of products a whole new type of products that are now in stock with certain retailers and these new products are known as the Sovereign and the Signature train packs and train sets 
and uh, you might think, what on earth is he going on about? So briefly, the signature train sets include everything you need to get started. So they're basically like a train set, but a more upmarket train set. So you get a sort of super detailed loco with super detailed rolling stock and also quite a, a high class controller as well. And then of course the Sovereign uh, train packs are just like the train packs that Hornby normally sell. In fact, I don't really know what the difference is between those and the standard train packs. Apart from the fact that Hornby don't sell them themselves, you cannot get them from the Hornby website, you have to go to other retailers. Uh, so yeah, they're just glorified train packs really. So it's really, really interesting that Hornby have uh, essentially brought out a new range of train packs that are available to buy. So there's all sorts available. If you want to check them out, I will leave a link in the description. But I think some of my favourites include, well, let's start with the signature one. I think my favourite signature train set would be the Eastern Suburban, which includes includes this J15 loco and if you haven't seen my J15 review I'll put up a link in the top corner there absolutely superb model in fact I think for their sovereign and signature collections Hornby have basically chosen some of their best models because this is nearly all die cast super detailed really really top quality model uh, so yeah it includes that and it also includes four coaches um, as you can see there that's a lot more than most train sets and train packs include and of course also the HM2000 controller which is basically the most upmarket Hornby DC controller you can buy and obviously it's got two controls on it which means you can expand quite nicely the interesting thing about that though is that it costs 300 pounds and I worked it out I added everything up separately and it only comes out at about 10 pounds cheaper than buying everything separately which is a bit confusing you would have thought you buying in bulk as you are you would get a bit of a bit more of a discount really so you really do have to need all of those parts if you don't really need the HM2000 controller and you don't really need the track and things it doesn't work out at great value at all but it is interesting nonetheless and then when it comes to the sovereign train packs i think my favorite one was the pullman days pack let me show you this one so as you can see it includes a class 71 and i've got also a class 71 here really really good models again some of hornby's best which is why i say i think they've picked some of their better quality models for these packs and sets uh, so it includes that and also two pullman coaches which come in at about uh, 50 quid each i think but once again if you go to hattons and add the uh, well the loco and the two coaches up separately it comes to 209 pounds and the sovereign train pack itself is being sold for 207 so what's that two pounds saved by buying all three together yeah i'm struggling to see the advantage of it really uh, i won't say it's pointless but it's certainly not an awful lot cheaper well two pounds that's you know you can pay postage which will completely throw that off so yeah it's a little bit odd isn't it i'm not absolutely sure whether it's 100 percent worthwhile to buy them in, in the pack unless they come in sort of beautiful packaging i don't know uh, but yeah if you can think of any advantages to these things that do let me know down in the comments but either way it's nice to have at least a loco with suitable rolling stock chosen for you i suppose that's an advantage isn't it okay a little bit of an announcement from oxford rail you're looking at their facebook page here very very brief post it just announced really that the LNER version of the N7 is coming in June as well as the ICI 5 plank wagon and of course as we know well as you ought to know by now the N7 by Oxford Rail is an absolutely stunning model really really wonderful is this and the LNER version I suppose is going to be a bit more popular because uh, obviously the LNER is more commonly modeled than uh, this so yeah I think that's going to be really really popular and again we know the quality of this model so it's going to be great to see that in a different guise and apparently that's coming in June so not very long at all to wait for that and uh, it's going to be difficult for me to resist actually um, I must resist because I've already got one um, but yeah if they come down in price a little bit not that they're expensive I might be tempted I might be tempted but again let me know in the comments are you tempted are you going to get one I'll be interested to know in fact let's have a poll are you going to get the N7 in the LNR black it's going to be difficult not to but we must resist. Okay, Rails of Sheffield have announced quite another interesting partnership with Dapol to produce an XSECR 1424 box van. It looks pretty cool. I do like a good box van. It is priced at £27.99 though, which means that this box van will be very, 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 very special indeed, or at least I hope it is for that sort of price. So here's a little excerpt from the Rails of Sheffield website. It says that these are manufactured using cutting edge technologies featuring an ultra high resolution super strong aeronautical grade PU, which is polyurethane, I think it is, with a design life exceeding 25 years, a build process using the very latest light technology and is infinitely flexible for making all variants, 
low volume production potential for niche products previously not capable of being produced economically for ready to run. And basically that says to me that these are going to be 3D printed. So for the pretty high price tag really I would say it will be interesting to see what Rails and Apple can pull out of the bag with this. And because of the accessibility of 3D printing and how widespread it is these days it means that these wagons are not going to be produced in China either. Apparently they're being produced in the UK and again that is something that 3D printing offers quite readily. So it will be very very interesting to see as I say what Dapple and Rails can do with that and do let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. And also for these model railway news videos I've decided I'm also going to sort of give you a heads up for any major exhibitions coming along the way. So we've got the East Anglian Model Railway Exhibition which is Saturday the 8th to the Sunday the 9th of June at the Kettering Conference Centre. Apparently that's going to be quite a good one. In fact I think that's the one that uh, yeah I think that's the one that Callum Wilcox is going to be at and he's invited me. I'm still finding out whether or not I'm going to be there or not. Uh, but either way it looks like quite a large exhibition that so yep check that out if you're in the area. And also the Great Central Model Railway event which I think is the largest of the events happening around this sort of time of the year uh, and it's on the Friday the 14th to the Sunday the 16th of June and obviously that's at the Great Central Railway so that will be really really exciting and I am going to that so I will uh, see you there if you're going. And finally, if you are an event organiser or a manufacturer and you'd like to have a little shout out on one of these videos, if you've got any products or events coming up, do let me know. There's an email address down in the description and you can contact me via there and uh, let me know of the product or the event that's coming up and I'll be glad to give that a mention. For now though, I think that is basically all of the major news that has happened over the past month. Obviously, if I've missed something that you think I ought not to have missed, do let me know down in the comments and perhaps next time I will give that a mention. But for the time being, thank you all for watching, thank you for your company, have a great week of course and happy modelling. Alright, take care everybody, I will see you very very soon.